Oswego County man who killed his 11-year-old stepsister in 2008 will not be free anytime soon. Alan Jones was denied parole for a second time. He'll continue to serve his 5 to 15 year sentence for the death of Aaron Maxwell. Now Jones was convicted of murder, strangling Aaron to death in 2008, but 4 years later that charge or that that charge was reduced to manslaughter at the appeals court. Now, police say the child was also forced to live in a home full of garbage, animals, and feces, and was often locked in a caged in room. The girl's parents were convicted of endangering the welfare of a child. They spent nearly two years in jail. Well, new at 11, Sarah Beth Ackerman joins us live from Oswego with the latest. Sarah Beth. Matt, this is the second time Alan Jones was denied parole. And after speaking with District Attorney Gregory Oaks, he says it's a tragedy that Jones was even eligible in the first place. Few people in Oswego can forget what this man did to his 11-year-old stepsister, Erin Maxwell. If you're a human being, it hits home. She was innocent. He placed a rope around Erin's neck and tightened it and held it there for several minutes. This was not a one-time mistake. This was not a momentary lapse in judgment. He had a very clear idea of what he was going to do. Oswego County District Attorney Gregory Oak says Alan Jones should pay for what he did. That's why the past few years, Oaks has been writing letters to the parole board, strongly urging them to keep Jones locked up. The first time Jones was eligible for parole was back in 2013, but Jones was rejected. Just last week, Jones had a second chance at parole, but Oaks told the board to consider every experience Aaron would have if Jones hadn't killed her. You know, making friends in school, going to school events and school dances, having a first boyfriend, having a first kiss. Um, Aaron would have been graduating high school this year if this hadn't occurred. I think it should be there forever, not 10 or 15 years. I think it should be in there forever. Jones will be up for parole again in two years. And when that time comes, Gregory Oak says he will keep fighting to make sure Jones is behind bars. For now, reporting live in Oswego, I'm Sarah Thackerman. Matt. Thank you, Sarah, but the terrible tragedy that still lingers.